Life Adventure News. Much more dramatic videos show the fury of Hurricane Laura, giving you an idea of what winds of at least 130 miles an hour can do. This video was taken as the eye wall moved over Lake Charles and that gust of wind just quickly flipped that RV onto its side. Now, our crew has just arrived in the Lake Charles area after weathering the storm in Lafayette. Let's check in now with Tan Trung. Tan, what have you seen so far today? Well, Karen, as you indicated at the top of the show, most of the concern initially before the storm made landfall was about storm surge, but we can certainly tell you it's been a wind event. We are currently at the intersection of Martin Luther King Highway and Highway 90, and take a look at behind me here. Don't be deceived by that standing water. That is more the exception, not the rule in and around Lake Charles at this point. And we positioned ourselves here because earlier on, as we arrived here, we saw a massive plume of smoke coming in from beyond that skyline, and that was from a chlorine leak from the bio lab, which is confirmed by West Lake Charles uh, officials. We are not sure about the status of that chemical fire at this point, but at this point, we also haven't seen much of that plume. As we drove in further east on Martin Luther King Highway, we saw rows and rows of streets with downed power lines. We saw roofs that suffered major damage, trees that were snapped in half, downed trees as well, uprooted. Now, this, that is the case here, as you see, just rows and rows and blocks and blocks of homes and businesses uh, that have suffered major damage. There is a good amount of heavy equipment right now in Lake Charles. And remarkably, shortly after, I mean, this is roughly almost 11 hours after landfall, there's a good amount of traffic moving in and around Lake Charles at this point. And another positive sign, the National Guard is here too because of the down power lines that we have east of here. Uh, they're starting to kind of clear out one lane so people can get through, probably more importantly for the linemen to get in and also to restore power here. There is no power at this point. Cell service is very spotty. Take a look behind me. This is the Lord's Outreach Worship Center, and it was boarded up, but in fact, 30 people, roughly 30 people, rode out the storm there last night. You can see some of the roof damage behind there. We spoke with some of the parishioners. This one lady has been going here for the past 18 years. She said it was by the grace of God that this church is still standing because it was quite frightening riding out the storm last night as Hurricane Laura made landfall. We'll have much more on later editions of Eyewitness News and also on WWLTV.com. Reporting from Lake Charles, Tan Trung, Eyewitness News. Tan, I just want to make sure that we have perspective on that chemical spill. Chlorine is nothing you want to mess with. Did you say you can no longer see the plume? At this point, no, because initially when we rode in here about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes ago, that plume was very visible. Again, the wind right now is, I wouldn't say it's, it's very strong, but it is significant. We'll get some strong gusts, but we do not see that plume of smoke. And it was very prominent and we could drive, as we were driving along Martin Luther King Highway East, it was still dominating the skyline. At this point, we just came back to this position about 20 minutes ago to set up for this live shot. It's no longer from, at least from our vantage point, we can't see it. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that that is under control, but we have not confirmed with any officials about the status of that, but visibly we can't see it at this point. And you've covered so many storms. I know we don't have a lot of time, but it's gotta be encouraging that you could drive from point A to point B and that there are cars going behind you. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't advise it because there's a lot of down power lines. Uh, of course, I mean, I don't want to put us a, above anybody else, but we're trying to get pictures of the disaster. Uh, but we do see many people, and I don't think they're you know, first emergency or first responders uh, going in here. We saw many residents, and this is where the danger also comes in after such a storm too, because there's no lights, no signals at the traffic stops, uh, and there's a lot of debris and down power lines. We don't know how uh, live they are at this point too. So it is quite dangerous, and this is where people can also get into trouble because we're getting a good amount of traffic in and around here. Karen. All right, Tan Trung reporting live from Lake Charles. Thank you very much. We'll be talking to you throughout the day.